I'm Rob Stocklosa of DPM out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Today I'm going to take you through a tension test of twisted pair cables. Uh, the first is the setup. Uh, I've created a couple sweeps that are associated to a couple configurations. If I wanted to further drive some of the twisted pair degrees per feet, I'd probably create a parameter to uh, do that long term. Uh, but here you can see how these sweeps are associated for a 40 a uh, degree twist per foot and a 15 degree twist per foot study. I chose to do a nonlinear study because we haven't done one in a while and uh, I did uh, go ahead and associate some elastoplastic uh, material properties to this copper. Uh, I've gone ahead and set up a fixed uh, relation, uh, added some reference geometry to get it to move right and here I've adjusted the pounds per square foot that we're applying in tension uh, to these cables. So that's uh, what both studies are set up to be like. And when we quickly take a look at the results, we'll see that, of course, where the cables cross one another, we'd expect the most stress and strain. Uh, if we take a look at the actual animation, we'll can see that the cable is going under tension and where the information is being translated from one cable to the other. And in a quick deformation plot, we'll see the same uh, the amount of uh, deformation is exaggerated, but we'll see that it is taking place mainly where the twist occurs. So, two, uh, one twist that we saw with the 15 degree, you can see that it actually increased our stresses quite a bit, and here we have a 40 degree which gave us an extra twist across there and helped spread that axial load a little bit. So if you're doing twisted pair uh, anything with pulleys or cables underwater or something, take a look at this tool. Uh, here's a really nice isoplot that gives us an idea of how that information again is being translated between the conductors. Any type of study that I like to do where I'm looking at different iterations, uh, at the end of it of course I would like to pull up a comparison plot to better understand which way I should take my design from this point. And here we can see the isoplots from the 15 degree as opposed to the 40 degree. Hope you found this helpful. Have a great day.